All right, welcome to the Mr. Floyd's Channelings channel. My name's Josh, and I channel Archangel Raphael and Saint Germain. And um, I want to give a shout out to Shapora eight 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 eight. She left a my first donation ever. Shapora eight 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 eight. Thank you. Um, yeah, what that means is beyond words. I haven't done anything with it sitting in my PayPal, so I'm going to take a screenshot of it and then frame that. I want to take a picture of it and frame it because that means the universe to me, and I'm grateful. Thank you. Um, all right, so this was supposed to be outside. Millie, I apologize. Uh, it's uh, There's 40-plus mile-an-hour winds outside, and it didn't make for the best channeling uh, conditions. So we're going to keep an eye on the weather. It's supposed to be even warmer this week. And so maybe Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, it's supposed to be even better. Thursday, um, we'll figure it out and get outside and do a live channeling or a channeling outside. And then maybe, yeah, maybe a live one outside. Who knows? But uh, again, join us Tuesday night at 7 o'clock for West Coast, 4 p.m. West Coast for our live channeling. And um, yeah, I hope to see you in the chat. All right. I have no idea what this topic is going to really be about. Um, so we're going to channel here and... Uh, Take it from here, I guess. Uh, trying to think, they, they gave me a couple ideas, but they're uh, who knows? We'll get into the channeling and always find a topic kind of finds itself. Um, so yeah, all right. We're gonna give it a uh, countdown here, like usual. Standard rules apply. Sorry, standard rules apply, and um, we'll see what we got. All right, countdown from five, four, three, two, one. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. You are joining Mr. Floyd in his channelings channel. You're joining Josh, actually, and St. Germain and Archangel Raphael. We are asking you. We ask you up front. We never really ask you for anything. We did ask for homework way in the back end, but at the beginning. But we, we realized that was way too much in a 45-minute video for you to expect to do homework when you are just starting out. But, uh, Ali Pop. Ha, ha, ha. But nonetheless, if um, you could like and subscribe, we would be most utterly grateful. The only way to get Josh in exposure, unless the right people see this, the only way to get Josh exposure is for Josh to have more likes and subscribes. And of course, the longer you watch, the longer, the, the quicker he will rise up in the algorithm. So you, if you watch this all the way through, if all of you watch this all the way through, Josh will be right at the top of the algorithm. That's how YouTube works, but I digress. You watch what you need to watch for yourself, but that's how YouTube actually does work. The longer you watch, the more you like, the more you subscribe, poof, you are seen to more people. Otherwise, it's not like a shadow banning, but you are not, you are not as widely distributed. You have a, you are, you are a distributor, like if you are a movie, is a lot smaller, then you do not get the full support of the YouTube, so to speak. There you go. But, we digress. We do not have a specific topic today, so we are going to really just discuss relaxing into your universe. Why do the, the question becomes, and really the thing we want to discuss is why, as a species, do you? And we've discussed this before, but it kind of comes up again because even Josh is doing it, does it occasionally. But you all do it. You want something, but you fight against yourself for what you want. First off, you look out for outside influences. You look outside yourself for validation of who you are and of what you want. It's the truth. If there's something you want, unless you are really strong inside yourself, do you just get up and go do it, or do you start announcing it to the our universe? Do you tell people, this is, what do you think of this? If, if there's a car model you want, if you want a Toyota Tundra, well, you don't, you don't have to go very far to ask anybody, because most people will say, that's when they're the best trucks ever made. But if you wanted a... GMC Rambler from the day, and you are collecting old trucks, and you want an old vehicle, you want a Rambler, or something, or whatever, or some, some funky old vehicle, and you are asking people for advice. Do you listen to them, or do you listen to your heart first? Are you taking your own instincts into consideration, or are you allowing other people to be your instinct for you in your universe? So if you're going and looking for that special car that you want, that old old-fashioned vehicle, maybe you like to restore vehicles. Are you going to get other people's opinion? Are you going to take your first emotion when you see that old beat-up vehicle that you're going to restore, maybe? 
and you go, that's the one. Or when you found your significant other, you did not ask other people, was that emotion correct? Did I just feel love in my heart? Did I just feel the most amazing emotion I have ever felt in my entire universe when I met my significant other? Is that correct? You are not going to ask other people that you're going to trust in yourself. Where do you lose that trust in yourself? That is the question. When you're losing your trust in yourself, you are not in your frame anymore. You are standing in somebody else's frame or you are now dervishing around. If you are not asking for help, if you cannot deal with whatever you are losing your trust in within yourself and your universes in the first place. Is that making any sense? There's something else we are going to introduce in these videos as well, in these channelings, is to breathe. So breathe in for me and breathe out. We're trying to make you more centered. It's the whole goal of all of this to an extent, is to center yourself as your source in yourself. Breathe in through your nose. Hold it in your, hold it in your diaphragm. Adam is excellent at that. He has been doing breathing from his diaphragm for years from the medium channel. He has got videos on that. But breathe out. Okay. So why are you creating universes that do not serve your highest. Why do you create a universe for yourself that you do not want? Why is that? Why are you creating a job you do not like, but yet you are going into that job? And then you are lying to yourself about the job. Or maybe you are not. Maybe you are going, this is the most horrible place I have ever been. But you are still lying to yourself because you are allowing yourself to go do that job. Are you looking for another job? We understand the leaving a job when you have no job. job. Josh's job left him. Now he has no job. But sometimes you cannot control that either. You're, sometimes you leave your job. Sometimes your job leaves you. But you have to be ready either way in your universe. Again, if you are at a job where you wake up in the morning and you are going, this is not working for me. My universe is terrible and I do not want to be here. What do you do? Do you feel worthy enough to get a better job? Or do you sit in the job you dislike? Do you get in the car and drive to work saying things negatively to yourself that are spinning you into locking yourself into your own, into the job that you don't like in the first place by creating through your own words a universe that you dislike? You are not seeing that you are even doing that. And you may not even realize you are creating your own universe to begin with. That is okay. Again, it's not like peeling an onion. As the onion layers gets, go away, come down as you get to the inner side of the onion, whew, it all falls away. And you realize you are the creator of everything in your universe. But until you get there, can you at least realize, okay, I do not like this job and why? Write it down. Put it on paper. I do not like this job. Or whatever circumstance in your universe. I do not like this circumstance. Why? What is this circumstance bringing up within me? Is it bringing up fear? Is this fear related to maybe childhood trauma? Is this circumstance bringing up old emotions or unhappiness or unjoyfulness in your heart? Is this circumstance bringing up possibilities or wonderment? Uh, freedom for you. You don't know. There's always going to be a yin to the yang, however you see something. You could see death as death, or you could see death as rebirth. You could see a birthday as death. You could see, there's two ways to look at it. You come into the earth world. Earth world. I watch, just was watching a YouTube channel where they call the earth plane the death plane, because really you live up there, and then you come down here, and you die into earth. But that is maybe possible, maybe not. We are not going to discuss that, but what we are saying is there is always going to be opposites of way you, the way you are seeing things. How are you choosing to see it? What is drawing, and this is where we are going to go into the live channeling to discuss, what is drawing from you in your experience, in your source field, that's helping to frame how you see things now? What is blocking you maybe from seeing things in a more positive way versus seeing things that you may see it in a negative way now? Keep those things in mind. This is all about those seven years. You are neuroplastic for seven years of your life. If you have a, like Josh, he had a mom who was very, very, very angered, very 
controlling, very mean. And so, but, but, but Josh understands why, because her father was had issues that he did not deal with, so he passed them on to his mother, who then had issues which she did not deal with. This is called generational trauma. And then she passed them on to Josh, who found his light and extinguished the darkness. But nonetheless, when you are sitting, yes, so Josh is where we go. We had to reframe where we were. So Josh's mom, she is, she was a narcissistic, very, very loud person. So are you taking from your childhood and creating in your now from that state, from the I am 15 and getting yelled at for no reason, or I am whatever in your universe might have occurred, or, you know, maybe you don't have a parent at all. Maybe your dad never was in your universe. So are you coming from the pain of, I don't know, I don't have any male role models in my universe, for example. Whatever it might be for you in your universe, is your current pain running your current show where inside of you, you want something completely different, but you do not know how to create it in your current universe? The Alipop is backing up on Josh. Ha, ha, ha. Excuse me. So when you're in your universe, when you are thinking, this is what I want, but your, your results are bringing you something different. Do not blame yourself. You are going off the conditioning, the programming, the teaching that was given to you from your family, from your influences in your universe. So you may not even realize that while you want A, you are driving towards B, but you think you might be driving towards A and end up at B anyways. You do not know. Until you clear yourself, step through your traumas, and realize that standing in your own frame who you are, that you are not reacting off old scripts anymore. You are not the childhood actor in an adult play any further. Once you get to that, we are going to go there. This, was, this is not going to be a very long channeling at all, as a matter of fact. But we are going to go there on on Mon Tuesday, yes, there we go. I almost said Monday, but when he originally did the, the date, he put the Monday date for the channeling, but then we switched it to Tuesday, so kind of had it mixed up a little bit. But anyways, so Tuesday, we will talk about the blocks, why you are carrying those traumas, how you picked up those traumas, and how to release those traumas to slow down in your universe. By removing those traumas one at a time, like picking, it's a sad way kind of, so to speak, but picking the petals off of a flower. You hope you would not do that, lest the flower is near death or something. It's the beauty of the flower alone. But we digress. So you're picking the petals off the flower. Each petal represents your traumas to get to the core, so to speak. So you, like you go around, you have a basket of flowers. In the summertime, you water your flowers. They're hanging in the porch. And then you pull the dead, the dead flowers out of the basket so you can regenerate and grow, have new growth. This is what we are going to talk about. How do you pull the dead flowers out of your basket? For now, just remember that you are love. If you do not realize that you are creating your universe or you are dovishing through, or you do not understand how to create your universe, that is okay. We are going to explain that to you as well. Right now, just realize that all is in present. Take a deep breath. Be right here. You may have a bill due on Thursday or something that you are thinking about. Or you may have to take your car to the shop, favor to your car if that's the case. But whatever it is, that's not now. You can't do anything about that. You can sit there and be in that energy. Are you like, it will not get anywhere for you. Sit in your present, sit in your now, as best you can. We understand the rattlings of the mind are very, very hard to quiet. <sighs> Takes a lot of silence. Instead of watching TV for one, one program, turn it off. Sit for 30 minutes, if you can do so. Sit for 10, if that's all you can do, or 5. 
your program will still be there. We love you. We are Archangel Raphael and Saint Germain. And we have channeled. Love yourself. Love your universe. Slow down by breathing. And realize, we are going to teach you all of this. We do not expect you to know how to slow down immediately. We might have even been wrong in stating, slow down, create your... We know that. You know that. But the question is, do you know how? Do you know what's blocking you? That's what we are here for now. We are going to teach you that. We're going to walk through clearing your space, your dark night of the soul, so to speak. You're really just getting rid of the traumas and the dramas so that you can be in presence in your own universe, which is really what it's generally all about, stepping out of the deep trauma body and standing in your frame as source on us. We love you. Releasing transmission. All right, so this was short and sweet, 15 minutes. Um, join us on Tuesday for the live channeling. Please like and subscribe. This is a family. Of the Ultimate Goals, we'll be doing Zooms here and again uh, where everybody can chat back and forth and live questions. Ah! <laughs> there goes fun. Live questions and uh, whatnot. Can't bang on the table here. I didn't use the gimbal because it gives a higher angle at this specific table. But... Um, Anyways, I love you. Stay awesome. Uh, Kuan Yin, White Buffalo, Calf Woman, and Isis, I'm grateful. Um, absolutely grateful. If you can hear your universe, or if you hear inklings of your universe, listen to it. Follow your intuition. Listen to your gut. Poke, channel it through your heart. Don't let your mind take over. I love you. See you on Tuesday. So you actually see you Sunday. Yeah, if you got this far, um, let me know Sunday morning at uh, 9 a.m. Eastern time or 9, 9, my time. So it'd be 9, 8, 7. No, 9, 10, 11. There we go. Um, 11 o'clock. 11, 10, 9. Yeah. So 11, I'm sorry. 11 o'clock Eastern time, uh, 9 o'clock Mountain time, 8 o'clock Pacific time on the Medium channel with Adam. Um, for a lot of you, you guys come from grateful. Um, Adam's the wind, one of the winds in my sail. If you are part of this, then you might enjoy that as well. And specifically speaking to you, Henny, join us on uh, Sunday morning there. Um, love you. Thank you. Grateful for you. Uh, we'll get this outside at some point. Today's a red flag day. I should have realized that. Red flag means that it's warm. It's like 65 degrees, but it's windy and it's dry. And uh, we can get gusts over 50. So there we go. All right. Catch you on the flip side and catch you on Tuesday. Love you.